guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. So today we are starting a new series called Self Love with Sydney Lou. I'm super excited about it. So if you guys want to get into this with me today, make sure you like this video. If you like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section, answer this question for anyone else who is wondering, for the people who need answers, and let's just jump into it. So for a lot of people, self-love does not feel natural. It doesn't come natural. It's more natural to actually hate yourself, which seems so harsh to me, um, than to love yourself. And so I wanted to kind of dig deeper into this because I know a lot of us struggle with it. Even though we are trying to be on this self-love journey, um, we still struggle with it. So I think firstly, it's hard for people to differentiate self-love and confidence with arrogance and conceitedness. And so I think that a lot of the time we don't know how to love ourselves or we don't want to come off as, you know, a narcissist or arrogant or conceited or whatever the case is. But I think that's where it really starts is knowing that um, self-love is not that. It is not about vanity or selfishness. It is all about your regard for yourself, for your well-being, for your happiness, for your dreams. Just protecting yourself, protecting um, the love that you have for yourself because it is so easy to lose it in this day and age. So I really just want you to know what self-love is first and foremost. Another reason I feel like it's so easy for us to hate ourselves and it's so hard for us to love ourselves is because of social media. And if you guys know me, you know I talk about this all the time, but we compare ourselves so much on social media. And so if we are not happy with our weight or if we're not happy with our hair or the way we look or whatever the case is, when we go on social media, it's easier for us to start to compare ourselves and for us to start to hate ourselves more because we are not looking at it through a lens of you know respecting other people or um, just admiring other people but we're looking at it through an envious lens and a jealous lens and a negative lens and so I think that when you don't have enough self-love for yourself um, social media can be very toxic for you and with that another reason is that we don't feel that we are worthy of self-love or worthy of praise or worthy of love from other people and so when we don't feel like we are worthy of course it's easier for us to hate ourselves instead of practicing self-love and genuinely loving ourselves and who we are and our flaws and everything that make us us make us unique and I started to think of other possibilities right not just the things that I always talk about and so there are so many other outside possibilities like trauma you might have experienced as a child maybe negative talk from parents or from family members maybe people who raised you did not love themselves enough they did not teach you how to love yourself they you know maybe you saw your parents bleaching their skin or your mom or you know never seeing her natural hair or whatever the case is maybe you saw those things and you interpret it as hating yourself or you know your parents don't love yourself so how can you different traumas like that they live in your brain until you are able to come to terms with them and try and understand them and try and deal with them another extreme example is maybe you were raised in a radical religion where they taught you that you know self-love is sinful and prideful and different things like that you know like there are so many different possibilities of why you hate yourself why that feels more natural for you than self-love would and other possibilities that I thought of is maybe you haven't forgiven yourself for something that's happened in the past 
or maybe you're not being your most authentic self and so sometimes when we are ashamed of ourselves or you know whatever the case is maybe you're gay and you just can't come to terms with that or you can't share it with your family members or whatever the case is you feel like you won't be accepted that makes it harder for you to love yourself of course so it's easier for you to hate yourself and you know for me one of the things that really stopped me from this whole self-love thing that everyone is on these days was because my perception of what self-love was um was so wrong because i saw it being done in different ways and it didn't make sense to me and I didn't get it and so I prejudged it before actually knowing what it was and so maybe you're like me maybe you've seen like crazy photos of half naked girls and saying to love themselves and blah 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 and you're like this is stupid like what is this this Instagram model is perfect and of course she's gonna be preaching this like maybe that was you because that was definitely me until I had to figure out like no that's not what that means and so don't let outside things really change your perspective on what self-love is because it is so important. And I know a lot of the time, um, different societal norms really will teach us to hate ourselves. Like when you get a job and you have to, you know, sometimes even be disrespected or bend over backwards for your boss or different things are just expected of you. That doesn't sit right with your soul. That's not how things are supposed to be. Or maybe you're having a hard time finding a job or finding a relationship or keeping friends or whatever the case is. That doesn't determine your worth. That doesn't change the fact that you should still love yourself. So whatever outside things are happening, don't let that affect what's happening on the inside. And my last example is that maybe you suffer from depression or, you know, some type of mental health concern. And so it's just hard for you to love yourself. And I completely understand that. Depression and anxiety and everything is so real now. It's like so many people suffer from it. And, you know, it's scary. So really I just wanted to open you guys up to the different possibilities of why it might be hard for you to love yourself. These are just a few but this video is really just to get you thinking and just to get you looking inward and I'm not just going to leave you here. We're definitely going to be talking about some solutions and just how to get on this self-love journey and how to cultivate self-love. So please come back. Friday for that video. We're going to be talking all about how to cultivate self-love, my tips, my tricks, and um, yeah, I just hope this video was informative for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Take care and God bless. Bye!